expert meteorologist Carla Welga. Carla? Well, you know, yesterday our high was 107. We were too shy of the record, but this morning we actually did set a record. It was a very warm night, thus a very warm morning. So 84 was only our morning low. There's the old record, 83 degrees set back in 2013. Average for this time of year, 72, so more than 10 degrees above average for this time of year. Satellite radar composite, there's a cloud cover that we're seeing this afternoon, and certainly we thought maybe this would sort of ward off temperatures close to 110, but this has not been the case at all. 108 so far, but we're still tallying up uh, the numbers for the day. Nevertheless, tomorrow still going to be very hot, but we're going to see the heat back off by just a couple of degrees, and then in will come that system we've been talking about all all week. We're going to be in the breezy category on Friday, and I think as we head into Saturday, we're going to be upper end of breezy, lower end of windy, but as this moves in, it's going to move the high pressure out of the way and allow for some of this milder air to come into the forecast. So there are your breezes for tomorrow. Uh, they start tomorrow. They will last into Friday and into the weekend. We're thinking gusts between 20 and 30 miles per hour and our higher higher elevations could at least see a much stronger gust between 30 and 40 miles per hour. Top peaks 40 plus. There's your temperature 108 degrees too warmer than at this time yesterday and we are already seeing somewhat of a breeze out there. Uh, winds out of the west southwest at 13 miles per hour. We're expecting another very warm night 84 overnight 72 tonight. However, in searchlight 80 in Laughlin and then for tomorrow, not too big of a difference, but a little tiny bit cooler if you can call it that uh, 107. Boulder City coming in at 105 and Pahrump at 104. But then in comes some of the relief we've been talking about. Breezy conditions on Friday, 101. So already there, we're seeing a six degree difference. But then as we head into the weekend, we fall below 100 on Saturday and then down to average for this time of year by Sunday. And then on Monday, still holding on to upper 90s and starting off the work week below 105. So that's good news. We'll take it. We'll still be breezy uh, by Wednesday, 103. But again, it's below 105, so <laughs> that's better than where we're at now. Elizabeth. Thanks, Carla.